So today I'm going to show you how to access your settings like you would in Windows 7. Oh, whoops. Sorry. That wasn't right. So, go into your start menu. So instead of and like, if you go to update like this, Windows Update brings up this stupid app which, oh, you need to restart your computer, which I personally hate with a passion. So what I do is I go update, just type it in, and go settings, and over here, you can't even get into the Windows update bit, but if you do want to, you can go install optional updates, and here we go. That'll take you back to Windows update the proper way. It looks at that. You can also access the control panel by typing in control panel and that'll come up as an app. I don't think it comes up as a setting, does it? We'll see. No, it doesn't. So if we go back and access the control panel, see, looks the same as Windows 7. So you can also make a shortcut to this by going um, where am I? Hold on, how do we do it? If I go up one, right click, create shortcut. Now you'll have a shortcut to the control panel. So there it is. You can just open the control panel now, which is good, or you can pin it to your start menu. So pin to start. So now when you go into your start menu, it will probably be all the way over here, which I don't like it over there. I want to put it in my file explorer and desktop. So there. So you access your control panel. So from here you can also access your, I don't like it like this either. Go like that. See so it's got all these the same thing as Windows 7, your power options, programs, add remove programs, firewall update, Windows 7 file recovery. That recovers your files that you've backed up from Windows 7. So if you want to migrate, which I might show you how to do in another tutorial. But yeah, so that's basically how you get into your settings in Windows 8 to make it a lot better, really, like Windows 7. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you later.